We're not worried about it. My sister, wherever you are, you must know that this is not your, your, your family business. This is our business called public protector. <laughs> you are entering into a different terrain. If you made commitments somewhere, you will now see that it's very difficult to keep those commitments. You are entering an institution, not some clownish arrangements. And, uh, hey, hey, I'm going to go to the ground. And uh, what is not the ground about state capture investigation? It's ground. State capture investigation is not elitist. But the deputy president of the EFF called me very angry and said, hey, maybe we must release a statement. This woman is saying uh, we're not going ahead with the state capture. I said, no, let us give her a chance. She's new. And we're calling upon all of you to give her a chance. Stop pressurizing her. She's a human being. She's got her own egos as well. She's not Tulima Donzel. And you can't expect her to just enter and walk and speak and smile like Tulima Donzella. No. She's got her own style. Give her a chance. I don't doubt that she will do the right thing. And if she does wrong things, we'll take her on. We voted for her knowing that there are allegations of her being a spy. Remember, a spy doesn't resign. You don't go, unless you are dead, it's permanent. And then she made comments, I think in an interview with you, she says, to stop a leaking of information in the public protector who might consider classifying uh, some of those reports. I said, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a spy language. <laughs> Remember, we've got this thing in our mind that she's a spy. But we don't have tangible proof. So every time she opens her mouth, we are marking. Uh -huh. Because we can tell you the, the spook language. We know it. We can tell you when a spook speaks. We are investigating her if she's a spook. So she must be very careful with the language. Because she might confirm certain things. We voted for her because she gave a good interview. And she understood the role of the public protector's office. Particularly when she gave a commitment to even try and open offices in the local municipalities and rural areas. That's what touched us. And we said the rural mass must also have access to public protector. And her saying she's more concerned about uh, ground issues speaks to exactly what she said in the interview that she wants the rural mass to have access to the public protector. So that's why we give a benefit of doubt. But ma'am, there are issues already as you enter on the table. You can't ignore them.